another rally supporting the ousted Egyptian president Mohamed Morsi. But this isn't Egypt. It's the Gaza Strip. Hamas, the Islamist group that governs Gaza, is ideologically linked to Mr. Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood. Now, the former Egyptian leaders being held on suspicion of plotting with Hamas, and officials here are worried. They have a plan in order to distort the image of Gaza, in order to, uh, uh, to start uh, oh, propaganda and media campaign against Gaza, against Hamas, against the government, in order to show Gaza is like a devil and Hamas like a devil. And I think they succeeded to do this in the Egyptian street, in the Egyptian society. Unrest across Gaza's border in Egypt's Sinai region adds to its problems. These Islamist extremists were killed preparing to fire rockets. Egypt's military recently stepped up its offensive in the Sinai. And it's destroyed many tunnels under the Gaza border. Palestinian smugglers use them to get around Israel's blockade and import cheap fuel and goods. But sometimes militants use them too. The cut in the tunnel trade has an economic impact. At a filling station in Gaza, the shortage of Egyptian petrol causes tempers to fray. And there's frustration here too, at the border crossing with Egypt. It's been shut for security reasons. We've been trying to get out of Gaza. We haven't been able to do so because of the closure. And every, every day we come to the checkpoint, we can't get through at all. And there are many more families that are stuck. Palestinians really rely on the Rafah border crossing. This is their one route in and out of the Gaza Strip that bypasses Israel and Israeli restrictions. But now, Egypt is keeping it closed nearly all the time. And that really adds to the sense of Gaza's isolation. Not so long ago, Palestinians in Gaza and their Hamas leaders hoped to benefit from the changing regional order. Now, the future doesn't look so bright. Yolande Nell, BBC News, Gaza.